Hello everybody! Today we are going to talk about the new Netflix series, Lost in Space. Uh, I was super excited to find out that they were even doing a series. I had no freaking clue until this uh, trailer went through my Facebook feed a couple, two days ago? I almost said a couple of years ago for some reason. Two days ago, uh, Netflix dropped the trailer and I was completely blown out of my mind because of how awesome and excited I am for this because it looks like a, like a really super serious take uh, on the Lost in Space universe. Uh, and I, I also like how they've they've really mixed stuff up uh, a little bit uh, with some of the casting um, and some of the uh, I guess the the synopsis of of the of the new series. Um, it's it's quite a bit different from some of the original series and even the 1998 movie. The 98 movie is more similar to the original series uh, than this new series is. We're going to talk about the two. The two previous iterations of Lost in Space, the original series from the 60s, a little bit about the 1998 movie as well, and then uh, we're going to kind of go over the trailer and kind of compare uh, the new cast to the previous cast, which is pretty cool. Um, so we'll do a quick overview of the synopsis. Like, the series is from the 60s, it's older than I am. I had an exposure to it because um, when I was a kid, around 10 or 12, my mother uh, special ordered these... Uh, Lost in Space VHS tapes, um, and that's how I got my exposure to it. Um, and then, of course, the 98 movie came out. Uh, I went and saw that in theaters. Overall, I kind of like the movie. I know that movie doesn't get uh, a lot of praise from almost anybody. Uh, I still think it was a fun movie overall, and I liked the I liked the cast of characters. I guess in a lot of ways, uh, that movie kind of suffers from a lot of the the 90s like, uh, shticks of just weird, f funny, slapstick, you know, comedy relief, uh, that I'm not a super fan of, but whatevs. Uh, so, we're gonna look at a little bit of the synopsis of the original series, storyline of that. If you haven't seen it, my wife told me to put spoiler alerts in here, I was like, the series was 40 years old, <laughs> and I'm like, you can't, whatever, but if... If you're like, man, I want to see the original series and I don't want it to be spoiled at all, uh, I guess skip this part of the video. Basic storyline of the original series. Uh, the year's 1997, so far in the future. Uh, Earth is suffering from massive overpopulation. Uh, so Professor John Robinson and his wife Marine and their children uh, and Major Don West are selected to go to the third planet of the Alpha Centauri star system to establish a colony so that other people of Earth can travel there and live. So basically, they leave Earth to go set up a new colony on a faraway planet. They're supposed to be setting up, uh, uh, like, hypergates so people can travel faster once everything's set up. Um, and that's that's kind of the main main story point of, of why, why this is all happening. It turns out... There's a douchebag named uh, Dr. Smith, who uh, is from, I believe, in the original series, he's from, he's an agent of an enemy government, and he gets sent to sabotage, um, sabotage the mission. Um, and he does that by, like, altering the robot's behavior on the ship, and, it, and everything goes crazy. So, he ends up actually getting stuck on the ship when it blasts off, and everything goes nuts, and hence... The, the name of the show, they get lost in space due to an accident uh, on the ship. Uh, moving on to the 98th movie, 1998 movie. In the 98 movie, obviously I can't say it's 97 because that was like last year. Uh, in the year 2058, uh, the Earth is soon, uh, soon to become unlivable due to irreversible, reflex, irreversible effects of global warming uh, and pollution. So kind of like, that was more of a point that we're trying to make nowadays that, yeah, we need to take better care of our planet. Like, life is going to suck if we don't. Dr. Smith, uh, basically, he, he this time he gets bribed by a terrorist organization to get on the ship and sabotage the robot, blah, 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 and he gets lost with him. He, similar to the original series, there is, where, where does it go? Is it the Major, Major Don West. Major Don West is the pilot and is intended to go... Uh, with the Robinsons on this mission to uh, the new planet, they they call it something different in the in the it's the 
it's a habitable planet in the Alpha Prime star system. So they, they changed they change the name of, of stuff a little bit. Um, but it's pretty close to the original series, like almost almost completely, except for the now, I didn't watch every single episode of the original series. Like I haven't I haven't seen all of it, but I know in the ninety eight movie, again spoilers, if you're whatever. Um, the, the weird, like, time travel thing that they do in the movie. I, I don't know if that was uh, an episode on the original series or not. Um, but it was kind of... That was the one thing that was, like, really, really different um, in a lot of ways. So we are going to move on to the the new trailer. So the storyline, again, spoiler, storyline for the, the new series that uh, comes out April 20th, I think, at the end of the trailer, it says. April 30th. I could be completely wrong. I'm dyslexic and my numbers are bad, so I could be mixing up numbers somewhere. Um, but new synopsis or new storyline set 30 years in the future, so 30 years from now. Uh, colonization of space is now a reality, and the Robinson family is among those tested and selected to make the new life for themselves for a better world. Um, but obviously things go awry and stuff kind of gets a little crazy. Um, what I what I noticed right out of the gate that's really different is um, it's his character we don't we're not going to see in the trailer. Uh, but Don West, uh, this time Don West is not a military person. He's actually he's um, it says here that he's a he's like a blue collar contractor, so he's like a construction worker of of some kind. Um, and then. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't say whether Doctor. It doesn't say whether Doctor Smith here is intended to go on the mission or not. But it pretty much talks about how he's a. Uh, he's an asshole, more or less. Um, and then uh, Don West, who talks about again a highly skilled blue collar contractor, blah blah blah, uh, had no intention of joining the colony, let alone crash landing on the lost planet. Boom. Um, so that's that's the kind of the major thing. So it's just the Robinsons going, or they're at least they're the ones that are intended to go on this mission. Don Don West. I keep wanting to say Don Knotts. Don Knotts is not the person. So it does it does actually say here uh, stranded with the Robinsons are two outsiders, Doctor Smith and then Don West. So they they could both be they could both be uh, stowaways in this case or accidental stowaways. So we are gonna go over the trailer. I'm going to bring the trailer up here. Bloop. Um, I'm not going to completely just play the trailer because I don't want to get hit with some type of copyright thing from blah 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 YouTube. Um, so we are going to go through and we are going to like look at each character and kind of check out some of the differences between some of the cast and whatnot. So the first person we see in the trailer is Maureen Robinson, who is Mom Robinson, basically. Uh, in the new series, she's played by an actress named Molly Parker. Um, I'm not really going to go over all the all the different all the different things that these actors or actresses have been in, just because that would take too much time for this video. Uh, this is our previous Maureen Robinson from. from boop, boop. There we go. That's the finger I wanted to use. Uh, that's that's Maureen Robinson from the 1998 movie, played by Mimi Rogers. And this is uh, the Maureen Robinson from uh, the original series from the 60s, played by June Lockhart. The previous Maureen Robinson from the 98 movie looks actually pretty similar, like uh, to how how she looks in the new series. Hair color is slightly different. Um, I, it's kind of, I guess, I, the look of these characters kind of probably based on the, the style uh, at the time of, of when these movies were made. Uh, I guess just, just between, was it like the last 10 years, last 10 years or so, there's not a whole lot of massive, massive style that's probably changed between, between looks. Um, and then the, the original series, she, she looks like kind of like a, a 1970s or 60s housewife. Uh, in a lot of ways, and that's just kind of the style of the time. Uh, definitely very different clothes. Nothing looks. It doesn't look futuristic or space-like. Um, much shorter hair. Um, again, probably more of the the style at the time of that. Uh, moving on, the next member of the family we get to see is actually uh, 
Will Robinson. I love his look. Like, he looks like the perfect Will Robinson to me. Uh, he almost looks more like the original Will Robinson uh, than, than the kid from, like, the 98 film did. So this is the Will Robinson from the, the 98 movie, uh, played by Jack Johnson. And then, uh, this is the original Will Robinson, uh, who is played by a man named Bill Mummy. Mummy? Mummy. I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, and I apologize for all you super lost in space. The aficionados. Lost in space aficionados. <laughs> uh, Will Robinson is one of my favorite characters. Um, and I, I hope... I hope uh, my my son gets really into this new series. Oh yeah, thank you. Um, I hope my son gets a kick out of this new series because uh, like Will Robinson's a really cool character, or at least he used to be, um, for younger kids to look up to because he's super smart. Uh, you know, he's a, he's the robotic expert uh, of the family, uh, which is really neat. Um, and he's just he's kind of just a smart smart nerdy kid, and I think. That's a good a good role model, I guess, for younger kids, uh, younger kids to have. Uh, so moving on. Uh, after we're looking at Will, we get another shot of the mom. Uh, it goes to some black and white uh, images, uh, and then we get a shot of this guy. So I originally thought this was gonna be Doctor Smith. I was like, yeah, that dude, that dude kind of looks like a jerk. That's probably Doctor Smith. Um, but it is not. Uh, that's actually John Robinson, the dad of the family, which makes a lot more sense now. Um, in the new, I think I forgot to say who played the new Will Robinson in the new series. I feel really bad for that. Uh, it's, it's Max Jenkins, by the way. Uh, anyway, the new John Robinson, played by a man named Toby Stevens, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then in the, the 98, where'd it go? 98 movie, it was, uh, William Hurt that played, uh, Professor John Robin, John Robinson. And then the original series, uh, it was a man named Guy Williams. This is kind of where we get some more similarities, uh, again, in the 98 film versus the 2018 series. Uh, both John Robinsons have sweet goatees. They both have, they both have like, the dad beard going on. Um, hair color is pretty much the same. Uh, in the original series, uh, he was more clean cut. You know, completely shaven, different things like that. Uh, it's interesting to see the progression of, of a lot of these characters. Um, but I think he is one of the ones that, like, seems the most unchanged. You can't... You can't really change up the, the dad image. Like, he's still got the... He had the dad image even in the... It was like a 1960s dad image. <laughs> but the next member of the Robinson family we get to see is actually Judy Robinson, who's the eldest daughter uh, of the Robinson family. Uh, or she's the eldest... Yes, I guess I can say eldest daughter. There's two daughters, uh, as we all know. So, as you clearly see, she's quite the different... She's quite a different Judy Robinson from her predecessors. Uh, in the new series here, uh, she's played by a nice young lady named Taylor Taylor Russell. Uh, the 98 movie uh, was Heather Graham, who played Judy Robinson. Uh, and then the original series, where's she at? Marta Kristen. Uh, played the original Judy Robinson. This is where the uh, the 98 movie is more closer to the original series uh, than this new series is. Uh, both the original series, they were both blonde white girls. Uh, in the new series, uh, it's a young black lady that's uh, a member of the Robinson family. I'm super excited that they mixed it up a little bit. I'm curious how they're going to work her storyline in. I wonder if she's going to be like an adopted daughter of the Robinson family or maybe like... Uh, a daughter from a previous marriage of either Marine or John. Uh, it'll be really interesting to see how, how they work her in. I'm loving the fact that they, they did this though, because it, it mixes it up a lot, um, and it just makes it different. And I think the way this series is going, the whole thing is going to be quite different. Um, so it's going to be cool. Uh, moving on. Uh, so what I could, like, more like a little bit of an Easter egg uh, in the trailer here. Um, I, th it, I think it's... Yeah, I think it's Judy Robinson that's holding this, because I think it pans down a little bit, and it's in her hand. Um, it's a big flyer, uh, which we can only see, like, half of. Uh, but it talks about, like, a new beginning, which is talking about the space light, like, because we're able to travel through space. Um, and they're they're using the original uh, the original star system from the original TV, the, the 1960s TV series, because you can clearly see 
Uh, well, it's, it says Ha Centauri, but of course it's going to be Alpha Centauri. Um, and you can kind of see a little bit. I think it... I can't quite see what that says. It looks like 2G, maybe? Um, and then there's some... There's a planet in the background, and there's uh, silhouettes of, of humans cheering. So it's talking about going to... It's the poster going to Alpha Centauri, basically. Uh, the next scene, we actually get a shot of... Uh, I believe her name's Penny. It's Penny Robinson. Where's she at? Where are you at, Penny? Uh, yeah, Penny Robinson, who's played in the new series by Mina Sundwall. I'm really hoping I'm pronouncing your names correctly, guys. New Penny Robinson. Bloop, or bloop, right there. Uh, our Penny Robinson from 98. Our Penny Robinson from 98, and our Penny Robinson from the original TV series. All here. The original TV series. Um, she was... Uh, she plays by a, a young lady named Angela Cartwright. Um, who I know I've heard that name before. I forget what else she's actually been in. Uh, and then uh, in the 98 movie, she was played by Lacey Chabert. I'm probably pronouncing her name wrong too. I apologize. I'm terrible with names. Um, 98 movie, she was kind of like a... She was kind of the hip, teenagery, gothic type chick. Uh, in the, the, the original series, of course, she was... She was very, like, she was kind of a, a clean-cut, 1960s, leave-it-to-beaver uh, type of look, which is kind of what the whole family was, uh, to be honest, which, again, was the style and look at the time. Um, both in the 98 and the original series, she, uh, Penny had dark hair. She looks almost to be uh, uh, a tad bit uh, redhead in this. Uh, there are some other pictures where she actually looks uh, a lot more like a redhead. Um, but not, at least from now, we can't really see too much of a difference between, between the characters, except for their hairstyle, and just kind of their look. Um, uh, bringing up to another shot of, of Penny here, looking at her sister Judy. Um, uh, you can tell from this trailer, this whole series, like, this series is gonna be, it's gonna be super serious. It's gonna be more like a, like a serious drama. Uh, and I mean, like, the movie... The 98 movie, like I said, suffered from that, like, uh, weird 98 or 90 shtick comedy that they had. Uh, the original TV series, while it was serious, it wasn't, it wasn't serious in the fact of what we consider a serious drama nowadays. Um, but while I'm bringing this shot up, it's got a really cool, she's got a really cool serious look on her face. But besides, uh, on her backpack there, you can see where it says J2, which is kind of a little another Easter egg of the name of their starship, which is the Jupiter 2. Which they've kept the name in uh, in all the series, which I'm I'm kind of excited about. So it's cool to see that they're keeping the name of it in this new series as well. This is a, a faraway shot of the the entire Robinson family walking up to their ship. Um, got you know it's Penny, Judy, uh, Maureen Robinson in the back, uh, Will Robinson, and then John Robinson in the the background there. Uh, This is where we get to see kind of the first, uh, get a little shot of the ship here, and then we get a shot of them walking into the ship here, which looks pretty freaking cool. Um, another good shot of uh, Judy, Judy Robinson here. I am losing a lot of my light because the sun went behind a cloud, and it's getting harder to see my face in this video. <laughs> but uh, another good shot of Judy Robinson smiling. John Robinson looks super serial. Um, you get a back shot of... I don't know why she's carrying, like... I, like, I thought it was weird that uh, Penny Robinson was carrying a pillow, but, like, maybe it's her favorite pillow. I don't know. Uh, you get a you get a clear shot of, of Will Robinson's backpack. There was another shot of Marine Robinson where I had her name on the front, um, but this, this one was, like, super intentional, so you could see, oh, yeah, that's Will Robinson. You get kind of a serious shot of... Will Robinson looking back out uh, at the planet as the the spaceship door starts to close. This is our new this is our new Don West. Uh, again, he's a completely he's going to be a very different character from his two predecessors. Because the previous Don Wests were both Major Don West, as in military. They were the pilot. Uh, they knew how to use a gun. They were their kind of the Robinsons' bodyguard in kind of a sense. Um, the new Don West had no intention of going. Uh, to Alpha Centauri or crash landing on a lost planet. 98 movie, of course, uh, the man we all know and love, Major Don West was played by Matt LeBlanc. Uh, 
freaking freaking Joey over here. Can I be lost in any more space? I don't know. Uh, and then the original Don West was played by a man named uh, Mark uh, Goddard. Goddard. They all kind of have a pretty similar look, kind of kind of like a ruggish badass dude uh, that's probably ready to kick some ass. Probably a little bit less ass kicking on our new Don West, just because. Uh, he knows how to build things, not necessarily shoot a bunch of aliens. Um, but he's pretty cool. And then uh, another huge major change to the cast, casting. Uh, our Dr. Smith this time is a woman. Which is a, a pretty major change. And I, I kind of like that they, they made this change. Because I've only found this one screenshot of her standing behind Will. Um, and she seems like she's the same, same exact character. Uh, as her predecessors. Like she always attached to Will because he's a kid. Uh, Dr. Smith always attached to Will because he's a kid and he can be manipulated a lot easier than say an adult is going to be manip manipulated. Um, and Dr. Smith has always been a manipulator which is like, I don't know, she looks like she's the perfect part uh, in this. And uh, our new Dr. Smith uh, is actually play, her name's uh, Parker Posey. Pose, Pose? I'm hoping I'm pronouncing her name right too. Um, in the 98 movie, he, whoops, where'd he go? Uh, he's played by Gary Oldman. And then in the original series, it was played by a gentleman named Jonathan Harris. Uh, so our two, our two previous Smiths look relatively similar to each other. Uh, kind of an older gentleman, uh, somewhat similar hairstyle, a little bit receding hairline uh, they got going there. Um, kind of a similar look. The uh, the Dr. Smith in that 98 movie did have a, a menacing goatee. And then of course our, our new Dr. Smith uh, is 100% completely different because it is an opposite gender. Um, and she looks cool. She looks like she's going to be the perfect fit um, for that role. Because uh, it seems like in in, um, in our movies, especially in our, especially in our science fiction uh, area, that we have... We have been changing a lot of our male characters to female characters. Like they did that uh, in, in Doctor Who with the Master. Uh, they recasted her as a woman named Missy. And I thought Missy was fucking absolutely the, the perfect villainous uh, type woman to take on that role. And I have a feeling uh, Miss Parker er, or Miss Posey is, is really going to do this character justice and take it to where, uh, that, where it, it's going to go. Uh, also... Uh, last but not least, I'm going to compare the robots uh, a little bit. We haven't seen the robot for the new series yet. There's no images of it anywhere online that I could find. Um, so our our first robot from the the 19 the 1960 series. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Uh, yeah, he's of course more tin can looking. Still, probably one of the coolest, most recognizable robots out there. He's far more recognizable, I think, than the uh, the robot from the 98 series. Um, I loved the voice from the, the robot from the 98 series a lot more than anything because it was it was just so bellowing and and so like so like it almost like it towered over you and and the robot did tower over uh, danger will robinson danger tower over the rest of the cast he was a massive massive hulking robot which was pretty sweet um and then all i have is uh just the voice danger. of the new robot no. from robinson. from the new the new trailer which is pretty cool let me know in the comments um, if you're excited for this new series. Are you excited for the new cast? Uh, what do you think? What do you think of the new cast? Like, just let me know. Let me know in the comments. Do you like some of the changes that have happened? Um, do you like that? That uh, is it, Judy? Judy Robinson? Yeah, the the eldest daughter is is very much of a different cast member. Uh, do you like the fact that Doctor Smith is now a woman? Uh, and then. And then Don West. Those were those were the major changes that, besides the serious aspect of the show, uh, Don West, Judy Robinson, and Doctor Smith are some of the biggest casting changes that are happening in the new series, which is pretty cool. Uh, at least I think it's cool. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's been a little long. I, actually, I don't know how long it's been because I haven't edited yet. Hopefully, I can get it down to 15 minutes. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more nerd vlogs and other random stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.